Hello, I have returned after two weeks of GTA 5 madness, so I'm going to be bringing you another Counter-Strike tutorial. This time I'll be covering the basic smokes on the map Cache. This is my second favourite map in the game, and I also believe it to be one of the easier maps for smokes. So starting off with smoking mid while aiming in the middle of these wooden planks, you run forward from your spawn and then jump when you get to the end of this white line. It has to be the third line from the right, otherwise it's just not going to land correctly. This is then going to bounce off the wall in what I call Z, but it could also be called Z or Connector. There's many names for everything. Another way to smoke the same place without running is to quickly place yourself at the end of this container. Really it doesn't matter what you line up with, I just kind of run there. And then you aim to the edge of this roof. I mean there's not much to line up with here either, but you can see where my crosshair is. And that's just going to do the same job. The previous one is obviously faster and probably better for your team, but it is more likely to fail. These two smokes are to create what people refer to as the wall of smoke in mid. This is actually very useful for the T side because it allows you to push through the inevitable CT smoke at the garage door. The lineups are also very easy as you can see, so as long as you have some synergy with somebody on your team and you're both throwing these at the same time, then taking mid control should be quite easy. You only really need to worry about someone pushing up and possibly on the short box, and this is also especially useful if you're planning to do a fast B split. Moving over to the A side, I mean this is real basic but I have to cover it. So no doubt the most important smoke when pushing the A site, just bouncing off the left side of the box while running, which then will smoke short and anybody pushing from the car, no doubt someone with an AWP. You can also smoke this if you're planning to push the door instead of A main by crouching in this corner and then aiming your crosshair just to the left in line at the top of the light. This then allows you to get out of the door as well and only really having to worry about the balcony and the quad or site at this point. Well, you also have the forklift, but you can't really do much about that with smokes. So to smoke the quad area, you need to line yourself up the top of the ramp and then in line with, well, the line. I just kind of know which one it is, so it's natural for me. And then move your crosshair up to the tip of the area along the roof. Personally, unless we're using that smoke to do a set strat, I'd rather my team just molotov the corners, as I think that's more effective in most situations. This is a rather strange lineup, as you can do the smoke quite simply from the same place as the quad smoke. But that's my issue, it's from the same place, so I like to do mine from here. Lining your crosshair up with the aerial and the edge of the building, and then you just jump and throw. It bounces off the skybox and then smokes the balcony. I don't think this one is any harder than the normal balcony smoke, but it is more convenient if you're in a team where someone's also smoking quad from there. So moving over to attacking B side, again just a simple throw off the wall while running means you're going to be able to smoke CT. If somebody's already done that then you're going to want to be smoking heaven. Uh, I do this by crouching close to the entrance and then throwing it against the wall like so. Usually at this point you should really only have one player in B to take out if you haven't already. There's not really too many basic ones on cash that are essential. Any CT sided ones like B and mid garage can just be thrown in the doorways. This is a similar one to when I said about people failing the A ramp one on Mirage. People sometimes throw this and there's gaps. So when you're in this corner just aim under the Y on the sign and then that's it. It only takes about 2 seconds to line up and throw and then you're definitely 100% not going to have a gap or it's going to go too far in A main. Well that's it for this tutorial. Again the next video I'll be covering some extra smokes and situational smokes for cash. So hopefully I'll see you then. Goodbye friends. Oh my